All right, guys, so today in front of me from Sagamore Spirits, we have their rum cast finished rye whiskey. All right, guys, so for the blends that Sagamore uses in this one, they use a blend of two different mash bills, uh, one of them being a 95% rye, 5% malted barley, and the other being a 52% uh, rye, 43% corn, and a 5% malted barley. Um, you can find these on shelves anywhere between $70 to $80. This one also comes in at 98 proof. Um, so, so what Sagamore did, um, with their rye whiskeys is they hand selected, um, rum barrels from South America and Jamaica and put their rye whiskeys, uh, in there, the, the two different blends and put them in there for 10 months and then re-blended those whiskeys together to create, uh, this rum cast finished whiskey. Definitely excited to get into this one, guys. So without further ado, let's go. All right, guys, so let's go ahead and get into the nose on this one. Yeah, I mean, those those rum barrels have really put an influence on this. First thing I get is just this, like, really nice brown sugar, almost like a, like a burnt brown sugar. Uh, rich caramel, like, further into the glass. I almost get, like, the slightest hint of, like, papaya. Really nice, uh, like, vanilla that kind of, like, this kind of flows through there. Kind of sweet. The whole nose is actually very, very sweet. Again, you get some of those brown sugars in there, almost like a burnt brown sugar. Um, some papaya, which is, you know, I don't I don't normally get. Definitely very fruity, though. Um, a, a lot of fruits going on in here. Do pick up a little bit of that rye spice kind of further into the glass as well. Um, I'm able to kind of extract that from um, from some of that influence from the rum. What I like about it, though, is the rum's not overly dominant. So it's not taking over like the actual aromas from the rye. Again, you're kind of getting that sweet vanilla that flows through a nice like rich caramel. Yeah, really nice, uh, really nice nose, nice and sweet. Uh, you can tell though when you when you smell this one that it's definitely been finished in something. I almost get like a um, a tangerine as well, like it's like some papaya, some tangerine on the nose. You know, burnt brown sugars, caramel, vanilla. Really nice nose, guys. Getting the palate. Cheers. Yeah, it's got some. Uh, that's a really nice flavors to it. So, one of the first things I got on the middle of the palate, a little bit of a uh, clove on the on the, the middle of the palate, almost like this like clove and like star anise kind of flavor that kind of mix to cut it together on the on the middle of the palate. There, a lot of sweetness on the front, almost like a like a ripe banana a little bit on the front of the palate. Brown sugar is definitely kind of coming to effect from the middle, um, from the front into the middle of the palate. Finish goes by fairly quick, um, which makes you just want to go back for more. Um, short to medium finish on this one. Finish, it does get a little bit, uh, a little bit peppery there on the back end, more of a white pepper than a black. Really nice first sip though. Very surprising. It, it, it definitely drinks its proof for sure. Um, but the, the, the flavors on here are very, uh, very unique, very unique flavor profile on this one. I, I really like it. Kind of gives you that tropical vibe a little bit. Yeah. So that second sip, definitely a little bit more, um, rye spice on that one. Um, the, the finishing is, uh, not, not fading off, but you know, you get those brown sugars on the front of the palate. Um, some ripe banana kind of flows into those those rye spices, like the, the smallest little hit of like orange, almost like, like that tangerine I was getting on the, uh, on the nose and then into the finish, the kind of, the rye spice kind of flows through. And then along with like a little bit of like, uh, some white pepper there that, that, that flows into the back. I, I really like the, how the rum influences this one though. Like I said, it's not overly dominant. So you're not just hit with like tons of brown sugar, tons of vanilla, tons of caramel. There's the tropical vibe to this one is is really, really nice. Like this is a great summer whiskey. Um, something that you could take to the beach, sip with a straw, um, sip it on ice, however you want to sip it. This is a great, great summer whiskey right here, guys. Let's get in the last sip. Cheers. Yeah, so I mean, definitely consistent with the flavors. Um, on the back there. 
end of the finish, I do actually start to pick up uh, a, a little bit of like some leather, like the slightest little hint of leather. Definitely, I think that has a lot to do with the rum, uh, the rum cast finish. But again, front of the palate is those brown sugars, burnt brown sugars with like mixed with that banana. I love the sweetness. Um, there's some vanilla in there, some caramel, obviously. Um, but that that front of the palate into the middle is really where this one shines through. The, the sweetness and then the spiciness coming from um, those rye flavors that aren't overly dominated by the rum cast finish. Beautiful mixture, though. Um, again, you know, I, I love that they use their blend, um, you, know, you know, the blend of the two mash bills for this one. But yeah, I mean, again, that middle of the palate, a little bit of citrus there, almost like, like a tangerine. And then um, those rye spices, you do get that rye flavor, which I really, really like. So it's not too overly sweet, kind of kind of broken in half by that that um, that spiciness, and then into the finish, slightest little bit of uh, of some leather in there. Um, vanilla kind of flows through into the uh, into the finish as well as that white peppery finish. Um, again, you know this was uh, um, I, I'm really glad that Sagamore used um, their mix of mash bills uh, for this one. I think it I think it brought a really great balance to this. Um, you know, obviously you're getting the sweetness from, uh, the rum cast finish, but, uh, you know, but then, you know, having that, uh, that 95, five in there, I think added that, that spicy layer, um, that, that really, I was looking for. And I think it's, I think it's very well balanced. I think that they, um, aged the whiskey in there for, for 10 months. I think it was a perfect amount of time because it's not overly dominating on the nose or on the palate. Um, really nice job though here by Sagamore Spirit. So I want to thank you guys for tuning into this episode of Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. I want to send a big thank you over to Brian and team at Sagamore Spirits for supplying me with this bottle to review on the channel. Guys, if you're looking for uh, a whiskey to go and sip on, or even go and sip on this summer, uh, this is definitely, in my opinion, a fantastic summer whiskey. Um, this is something you can go and just take to the beach, sip it, um, sip it through a straw, so like I said, sip it on ice, however you want to sip it. Great summer summer flavors in this one, the, those tropical vibes. Um, again, I, I love that they used the two different mash bills to kind of blend together. They aged them both in um, those rum casks for, for 10 months and then blended them together. Um, very well done. You know, it could have been very, very different had they only used one of their mash bills. Um, but, but by blending the two, like I said, you, you got that perfect balance of sweet and spicy a um, lot of brown sugars on, on the front of the palate, and then you, you go into, you know, some, some ripe banana there on the front of the palate as well, into those rye spices, which I really like. So it wasn't sweet all the way through. It was broken up by those rye spices. And then into the finish, a little bit of like some leather, um, some white pepper, you know, with some vanilla flowing through in there as well. Um, very, very well done by Sagamore Spirit. Um, again, I, this is something I might actually... Uh, I might take on vacation with me and, uh, and and finish off this summer when I go to the beach. Um, so again, big thank you to Brian team over at Sagamore Spirits for supplying me with this bottle to review on the channel. Guys, if you're looking, looking for more reviews like this, make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell notification to be alerted of any upcoming reviews or live streams. You also find me on Instagram at Dusty Dan's Whiskey Reviews. And until next time, guys, stay dusty.